SpaceX recently announced that it plans to send two tourists on a moon flyby by 2018. This will be the first time that humans have left Earth's orbit since the last Apollo mission in 1972. If successful, this could be a significant step towards a space tourism industry and pave the road for Elon Musk's dream of Mars missions and a Mars colony in the not so distant future. SpaceX's founder, Elon Musk, has said that the circumlunar journey would take about a week, nearing the moon's surface without landing on it before beginning its return journey back to Earth. The total flight would go about 500,000 kilometers to 650,000 kilometers away from Earth, meaning that the flight could take humanity further into space than ever before. The current record is held by Apollo 13 during their flyby of the dark side of the moon taking them around 400,000 kilometers away from Earth. SpaceX said in a statement that the would-be passengers have already put a significant deposit down for the journey, and Musk called the cost comparable to sending astronauts to the International Space Station. NASA currently pays Russia around $70 million per astronaut in order to get to the ISS. In 2001, billionaire Dennis Tito became the first tourist in space paying Russia's space agency around 20 million for the ticket. The flight around the moon will use SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket, which it hopes to begin testing this summer. NASA's last mission outside Earth orbit was in 1972 with Apollo 17. A combination of political and financial challenges meant that NASA had to refocus his attention on international efforts for the space station and on exploratory robotic probes with over a hundred probes sent by NASA to explore different aspects of our solar system since the end of the Apollo program. Elon Musk's vision goes further than this though, and SpaceX is tasked with solving the challenges of making life multiplanetary. Musk notes that apart from humanity's innate exploratory nature and the scientific benefits, it is imperative for humanity to establish itself on other planets. When looking at the history of the planet on a long enough time frame, it becomes evident that extreme events which disrupt life on the planet occur regularly. One way to guard against this is to spread life throughout the planets and stars. And this way, it greatly increases humanity's chances of survival. SpaceX has stated that it plans its first unmanned mission to Mars in 2020, followed soon after by a manned mission and the first colony. The exploration of space remains something that unites and inspires humanity as a whole. The Apollo missions had the unexpected effect of allowing humanity to view itself from afar. And then for a moment when Neil Armstrong took humanity's first steps on the moon, the divisive problems we all have faded in significance to this epic human achievement. Perhaps in this turbulent time, this is the perfect time to remind us all of that. Finally, I leave you with the last words spoken on the moon. Astronaut Gene Cernan. This is Gene, and I'm on the surface. And I'd uh, take man's last step from the surface back home for some time to come, but we believe not too long into the future. I'd like to just let what I believe history will record that America's challenge of today has forged man's destiny up tomorrow. And as we leave the moon and Taurus Littrell, we leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return, with faith and hope for all mankind. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, stay tuned for my usual report coming out at the end of the week. Peace.